हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी टेलिंग यू अबाउट अ स्पेशल एट्रीब्यूट ऑफ एच टी एम एल विच इज कॉल्ड एज पैटर्न एट्रीब्यूट सो बेसिकली दिस एट्रीब्यूट इज वेरी मच यूज इन साइड फॉर्म वेलीडेशन सो वेन एवर यू वॉन्ट टू लेट सपोज वॉन्ट टू वेलीडेट सम इनपुट फील्ड बेस्ड अपॉन ए पैटर्न और रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन यू कैन यूज दिस एट्रीब्यूट सो लेट मी जस्ट शो यू द यूज ऑफ दिस एट्रीब्यूट इन साइड योर एच टी एम एल सो basically let's suppose you have a simple uh, reg user registration form here and inside this you have two input fields so here inside the first input field you can enter the username so basically this is required so here you can enter the username and basically after this we will have the submit button to submit the form so we will have the submit button so here we will simply say register so now inside this basically guys there is an attribute special attribute called as pattern so you can apply this attribute here and based upon this you can provide any regular expression as you want so you can test your input field based upon that regular expression so let's suppose i want to write only three digits all in string letters so what i will say is that it can be either a to capital z or it can either be a to small a z as well so this simply means inside regular expression guys you can even write in capital letters from a to z letters or you can even write in small letters from a to z and then basically you just need to provide how many characters you want this inside this input field so let's suppose the username must at least be five characters so this is a regular expression that we i have put here inside the pattern attribute here so this simply means that i must enter five characters which can be of any character from a to z it can be small it can be capital as well so let's suppose if i write john here basically i can even uh, basically test it as well so we can uh, give it a id to it to this input field here so i can just give it an id here so that i can target this inside javascript so i have given this id of username so here we can enter uh, target this input field here document dot get element by id get element by id username so here basically guys what we will simply say we will simply say username dot check validity so this will simply return a boolean value guys whether this is true or false and depending upon that we can simply inside our result here we can print out the alert message so we can simply say document dot get element by id username and here we will manipulate the inner html so if any sort of error take place we can simply say uh, username dot validation message like this so now what we'll say if i write here john and also in the else scenario basically if all the things are correct we will simply say that uh, result we will manipulate inner html and here we will simply say form is submitted so here we this also needs to be result so if i just write here you can see that if i don't write anything here click on register you will see please fill out this field here you can see and this i need to surround this inside our basically whenever the form is submitted so we will need to surround this inside whenever the form submits this callback function will execute so we need to prevent the auto submission of the form so we will simply say e dot prevent default and then basically we can uh, copy this code here just move this code here so whenever the we click this register button then only this code will execute so you will see that so we just need to give it this id to the form here which is form here like this so now if i don't enter the value you will see please fill out this field here you can see that and let's suppose if i write john here please match the requested format you will see that guys basically it is telling us that it should be five characters only you can't be writing minimum or maximum it is it needs to be exactly five characters so i need to match this 
so you will see form is submitted so basically this is the pattern attribute here guys you can provide any regular expression here any custom validation you can perform here and let me make it let's suppose uh, uh, 10 characters so what it will do guys basically as you write here click on register you will see please match the requested format and now please it needs to be exactly 10 characters 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 now you can see that form is submitted so basically it, it is useful in those scenarios in which you want a specific input from the specific user so let's suppose you are getting a email address you will enter the regular expression for a email address and uh, if you are submitting a url and you need the http prefix to it you can even do that as well so let's suppose now we have a second input field here for password so this will be password here and again we provide a pattern here so for this pattern here guys we will expect at least eight characters so the password must be at least eight characters so this is a regular expression you will see dot inside curly brackets eight comma so the password minimum characters is eight characters it can be maximum then uh, it can be 9 10 11 12 it should be at least eight characters so you can see that it is required here so now what is happening guys you will see i will just put a break tag here so that it is appearing it after the username so you will see that basically uh, let me just disable this So just refresh it guys so what will happen uh, basically we can even give it a placeholder as well so just letting users know what to write here enter the password so here we need to enter the password it should be at least eight characters so if I write let's suppose the username 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and then if I write the password let's suppose uh, six characters you will see please please match the requested format you will see that the password must be at least eight characters form is submitted if i write more characters here let's suppose i write more then also form is submitted so because we have put a restriction here of using the pattern attribute which is provided inside html so we have written the password must be at least eight characters then only the form will submit so here you can just attach these custom pattern attributes guys so this is simply a uh, regular expression that you are doing here and based upon that the this is the custom attribute so you can even take an example let's suppose uh, uh, if you have a URL that you need to write so if you need to include the HTTP as well so we can have a third input field out there so here you will be entering your url so basically here you need to enter the url here so if i say here this is input type url so here you only need to write the url the website url so you can see we have provided this pattern which is https question mark colon slash slash so this is a regular expression so basically it is telling us that if I just try this correctly it is telling me that you can't write website address like this I think it should 5 6 7 8 9 10 because it it <laughs> you can see inside of a username you can't write numbers so if I include the numbers also let's suppose I say 0 to 9 so what will happen basically you can even write numbers as well so you can see that if i write numbers then also it will expect so now if i write the website address like this without the http you will see please enter a url so you need to enter a correct url like this https so now you can see form is submitted so in this way guys you can target any input field 
let's suppose you are entering password username email address url website url so this is a custom validation attribute which is provided in html which is pattern attribute so here you can write your regular expression any regular expression as you want and then you can validate your user registration form so thank you very much for watching this video if you like this video then please hit that like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video